treat after treat, week after week, week after week, treat after treat. Amen. We're going to have our own pastor, associate pastor, Ed Bryant, minister the word today. Amen. Always good. We've we got a kind of smorgasbord for you. Amen. So, Pastor Dad, preach the word. Preach it, preach it. Goodness is behind me. And mercy is following me. 
I just looked at the truck coming. I said, Lord, this truck gonna hit it and point it at it. And he said, boom, hit me. Knocked me into another vehicle. But I come out. Hallelujah. I didn't get a scratch on me. Thank you, Lord. I didn't do nothing but go in the hospital and check me out. Didn't have a broken bone. Mm -hmm. But the truck was being up. Two years after that, I was loading a pump on an 18 wheeler flatbed. And the pump was so big, I couldn't see over it. I couldn't, this was an oil pump. Couldn't see around it. Somebody said, do this, do that. And I was watching people. And hit the button and boom, stepped off the flatbed. And oh my. hit down and, and people say, you should have been dead. Mm. My head, they said, bounced. Wow. I said, man, you should have been dead. But God, but somebody said, but God, God. a lot of mercy. To step in okay. and take over. And a few years after that, see, the devil ain't, ain't, ain't eating popcorn and drink, drinking Dr. Pepper. <laughs> He's trying to take God's people out. That's right. I walked to the mailbox. And at this time, we were living in a different house from where we are now. And the mailbox was a good little ways from the house. And I walked down, and you that had been to, what's at that house, you know how far the mailbox was. And I walked down there and come back, and my car, one of my cars was in the driveway, and I couldn't hardly make it. Ella Paula, I couldn't hardly make it. She, been, she was at the other house. She knew how far the mailbox, it wasn't just right there on the street. It was down, we had pretty good little, I don't know how many hundred feet it was. But anyway, I barely got to the car and fell up on it. I had a, a minor heart attack. My God. I didn't know. Hey mm -hmm. man, I didn't know nothing about no heart attack. How heart attacks affect you or nothing. I just heard people have heart attacks. I don't know how they affect people. But anyway, the, the next day I survived. When wife says something wrong with you, take you to the hospital. Took me in the hospital and then, then broken down and they rushed me to the one in Tulsa because they couldn't do what I needed to do. And this gotta be serious. They can't do what they need to do in the hospital. Got to ship me down there in the ambulance. Mm. Wait a minute, something going on here. <laughs> Amen. But God stepped in mm. with his mercy again. So that's why I can say God is the merciful God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That was 2012. I'm still here. Mm. Hallelujah. I mean, 2014. Mm. But I'm still here today. Yes. God is so merciful. He looks beyond our faults and see our need condition met. That's what kind of God we have. Yes. Amen. I hadn't thought on how uh, how uh, the preacher preached on last Sunday how that goodness and mercy is following us. Amen. If we get in, a, in trouble, goodness and mercy is right there. Amen. Hallelujah. If I had been thinking years ago, I'd have been way advanced further than I am now. Mm. Because I'd have had something to rely upon. I could rely upon goodness and mercy instead of people. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you put your uttermost confidence in people and they let you down. Yes. Put your confidence in God. Oh, yes. In his word. Mm. Some folk want mercy. Yes. But they won't give mercy. Ooh. Huh? Some hope every time it uh, used to be I could remember my mom. I, I like to talk about my childhood days. Because mm. I can go way back. I'm the oldest one in this place right now. I'm pretty sure. Ain't nobody above 80 in here. Well, I'm older than you now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Hallelujah. But God been good to me. Yes. Hallelujah. I can remember every time somebody got in trouble, we was in the country. And the people said, pray for such and such that they would go down on their knees and say, Lord, have mercy. Mm. I can remember those old folk that had a tooth that, Lord, have mercy. Mm. They could ring that tune out. It seemed like uh, I could feel God working. Mm. And I was just a little old boy when, when I heard my mom say, Lord, have mercy. I, I was standing attention because I know mom was making contact with God mm. by that tone of voice. But you see now, they, they're taking everything, look like, and, and making it rhyme with something in the world. Wow. Mm. But anyway, when we want mercy, we need to show mercy. Yes. Go with me to Psalms here this morning. Thank you. Not the 23rd, because we already own it. Mm. Go to the 51st Psalm. Mm. Just a few verses out of the 51st Psalm. Here was a man cried for mercy, but he didn't show mercy. Hallelujah. Talking about David. You remember how he went out and he, he took Uriah's wife. And he was giving Uriah a note to even give to the, the one he carried the note over there to give it to, otherwise the prosecuting attorney, otherwise I'm saying that. You do what to me, what you want to. I'm carrying a note. Hallelujah. After David took Bathsheba and went into her and it, and it got out. Hallelujah. He gave Uriah a note to go over there and take this note with you. Put him on the front line so that he could be killed. That's not showing mercy, is it? Mm. Hallelujah. But now he crying out for mercy. Why? Because the prophet done told him that you did this. Talking about the prophet Nathan. You remember how David went to him and he told him some things. And Nathan said, when they got through talking, said, Thou art the man. Mm. Otherwise, you the one. Mm. Glory to God. This is when David went down and he cried, Lord, have mercy on me. Mm. See, when we get in trouble, we we seem like you ain't got no business holding me now. Uh -huh. I got a right to cry out the Lord. Yes. Have mercy on me. Give me some mercy. Yes. I do some mercy now. But <laughs> think about have you given any Woo. mercy? Yeah. Have God. you shown any mercy? All right. Goodness and mercy shall, if we do what the Word says, mm. then it will be right there when you need it. Mm. Glory to God. Share mercy with people. Some folks say, well, they ain't from the same side of the track I am. But yet, you got to show mercy. Woo. You got to demonstrate the love of God yes. in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I guess uh, we haven't been in the neighborhood for uh, about three, four months. But anyway, the folks know me there now because I go walking daily. I don't just walk and look. I talk to people. Uh -huh. And they say, you different from this neighborhood. I say, I'm not from this neighborhood. <laughs> I'm trying to show somebody in this neighborhood All right. the love of Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you got to demonstrate from where you live at mm. to people that don't know you. Yes. I could be living any kind of way. Go to knock on the man you got a job. Uh huh. We used to call that job when I was in the world. <laughs> job, you got a job, man. They're sitting on the porch. I, I, I was on the porch. Years ago. But mercy came. Hallelujah. I said, Mercy came. Mm -hmm. And he took me off of the porch. Yes. Mercy came. Yes. And he cleaned me up. Thank you, Lord. Now I'm demonstrating mercy. Yes. Because mercy follows me. Mm. 
I can't demonstrate somebody else and somebody else that followed me. Yes. We go out and say, Oh, I'm going to revive us in the house of prayer. Oh, then we have a good service today. Then you're cussing somebody out the day. <laughs> Come on now. Y'all in here? Mm, yes. Demonstrate who you serve. Yes. Don't matter what you have. Mm, mm, mm. Don't Ooh. matter who know you. Yes. I let the folk know I'm a child of God. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I can't go in there talking about something else. I, I go in there and demonstrate who I am. Mm. Mercy. Slow down and tell them what that means. Compassion. Mm. Love. Leading your son, why not? I'm going to be a little patient with you. I ain't going to get in no hurry and, and, and send you to the electric chair. Uh -huh. I'm going to be patient. Yes. I'm going to hear what you got to say. Mm -hmm. Get it. I'm going to be pitiful. I'm going to put myself in that position and see what will I do or what do I want you to do for me. Mm. If I'm there, I'm in there. Yes. Sorrow. Just listen at the whole, the whole problem and then weigh it out. Don't just jump in, in conclusion of yourself. Listen at the person. Yes. Sometimes people do things they don't even know they're doing. Them. Mm -hmm. Brother Cap said you'll get that next week. Mm -hmm. They ought to know better. Mm -hmm. But you're a child of God. Come on, Dad. You're a child of God. Yes. Demonstrate who you are. Mm. Be merciful to them. Yes. Right. Don't just jump up and send them to the electric chair. What do you keep talking about? This? Well, I'm just a prosecutor. Mm -hmm. Don't yes. just Judge. throw all of it in. Yeah, you should have did that. You should have known. They ought to know better. All right. See, we're quick to say they ought to know better. Uh huh. Right. They should know that they should not do because they go to church <laughs> every Sunday. Mm. They go to church. Mm. They read the Bible. Got the big old Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I see them get in the car. <laughs> got the big Bible. Why would they do something like that? You got a big Bible. See what? See what? See. <laughs> That's why the Bible teaches us to watch and pray. Some folk are praying, not watching. Some are watching and not praying. Because yes. they're watching you. Mm. Uh, Get that next week. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> patient. Be patient with me. Y'all remember that old song? Please be patient with me. Mm, mm. Because God is not, not through, through with me yet. Well, they should have known better. Mm -hmm. Talking about they're a child of God. I've seen them flip up. Mm -hmm. See, the devil is watching folk. Mm -hmm. He got his he got his people out there watching you. Look at every slip and you slip up and they I thought you was a child of God. I thought you was saved. Forgetting about when they slipped up. Mm. Mm. Want mercy. They want everybody in, in the neighborhood to be merciful to them, but they ain't had no mercy for nobody. Wow. Right. We gotta show mercy. And we want to receive mercy. David had shown no mercy. Got the man why? Then give him a death note. Mm. Mm. That ain't no mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Not to me, it ain't. <laughs> Man carry his own death note. I done been with your wife, now you go get yourself killed. Yeah. But now, he wants mercy. Yeah. He went on the further to say, have mercy on me mm. according to your tender mercy. Blot out my transgression. Otherwise, forget about it. Lord, forget about what I did. Ooh, forget about it. You raised him, Lord. I slipped up in February. Forget about that, Lord. Yeah. 
Have we ever wanted somebody to just forget about what we did? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you never want anybody oh, yes. to just forget about what I did? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a new day. <laughs> this is a new day. Just don't think about what I did yesterday. Oh, forget yes. about that, Lord. <laughs> oh, yes. What I want you to do is watch me. Mm. Throw me. Let them out. Clean me up. Yes. My mother used to have some soap they used to call lye soap. Oh. Mm -hmm. Since a hundred years you probably know what I'm talking about. I know the rest of them don't know what I'm talking about. But that lye soap will clean your clothes. Take out all the stains. They even use the word hissom. Clean me up, Lord, from top to bottom. Oh God, just get get rid of everything in me. Mm -hmm. Be ready to be to live right now. When you go to the, the Lord like that, you're ready to do right now. Mm -hmm. You don't want to carry these memories around in your mind. What I did. You want God to be forgiven, God. You want everybody else to be a merciful to you. <coughs> I acknowledge. You look and see what he said. He have acknowledged. Lord, I know what I did now was wrong. I acknowledge it. I'm ready to accept punishment now. I acknowledge it. Give me the ticket, Mr. Police. I run that stop sign. <coughs> Some of us are all the police down. Man, I didn't run that stop sign. You, you must have been looking at somebody else. He right there behind you. But when you acknowledge I did, a couple years ago, <coughs> I was on my way to the nursing home in Haskell. And I went to a school zone <coughs> too fast. And I looked up and I seen that police coming off the school camp. I said, I ain't no need of me going no fast. I just slowed down and waited till he called up with me. <laughs> and he said, you know you went. I said, I know it, man. I acknowledge. He said, you in a hurry? I said, yeah, I'm going to the nursing home. What you got in? I said, I said, no, I don't have no people there. I said, I go there and minister to the people every Wednesday. He said, well, I ain't going to give you no ticket. Since you're doing God's work, you go ahead, but slow down. <laughs> I said, I will slow down. <laughs> I acknowledge. Yes, some of us would have, I see the police coming off the park, like, <coughs> turn off the road or get faster. <laughs> I ain't not, I see him coming. Ain't no need him here, Ain't got nothing out of right here. I slowed down and wait till they called me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and told him, hey, I ain't getting out of this. Yes, I did go to the school zone a little bit fast. Mm -hmm. It was about five miles over. The school zone was 25. I went by 35. Mm -hmm. That's too fast. Too fast, yeah. Isn't that right? That's right. It's too fast. But he didn't give me no ticket. My God. He said, you acknowledge you. I said, I ain't no need me arguing. I knew I did it. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And, and then he, he said, go ahead. But don't do that now. I'm not. You want to do my meeting? Yes, sir. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I was in Broken Nap. Mm. We live in Coweta. I was in Broken Nap. Doing some shopping. Come back. Went down uh, County Line Road. And, and I, I knew I was going too fast. And I don't know why my feet just wouldn't get up all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going too fast.
really right in there, and my <laughs> mind is being controlled. I just talked to yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. And he said, where you going? I said, I'm going home. And he said, where you live? I gave him the address and everything, showed him my ID from the car, the registration and all that. He said, Mr. Bryant, go ahead, but slow down. I said, you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> slow down. I ain't money. See, this is where people get in trouble a lot of times when they want to act money. They all, some folks say, a sign goes down. And then take the wrong road home. But when you acknowledge what you have done, God show mercy to the police. Didn't give me no ticket. Hallelujah. Told me to slow down. And I did slow down. See, when you show mercy, when you acknowledge something, God will be right there. See, we're. Saints of God be standing up before the police. Lying. I wasn't doing nothing wrong. No, you were speeding or whatever you were doing. And lying. God looking at you, and they is too. Yeah. And then say you a child of God. Mm. If we, how can I win the police if I'm standing up there lying and he looking at my driving license or registration? Oh, you're preaching all this? And you speeding? Mm. I can't win him. Mm. What can I say to him? Yes. But please. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but when we acknowledge, when we do these things, yes. they will have patience with us. Ooh. They'll be lenient with us. They'll be sorrow for us. Mm -hmm. So we won't do that no more. Is that right, Sister Hunt? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. Remember in the Bible, what is man? Somebody go there quickly. I think it's in St. Matthew. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Johnny. Mm. You remember how the man, the, the, the king, and otherwise it had some people that owed some money and all these things, that, and he went to his servant and said, Pay the debt. I love well, they want to sell up. Mm. Get everything off the books. Yes. So that it could be right. <coughs> and the, the servant said, Lord, be patient with me. Mm. I pay the debt I owe. Mm. I ain't got it now. Uh, be patient with me. Otherwise, he said, show mercy to me. And the king showed mercy to him. He was patient with him. God didn't let him go. And he went on down. The servant went out. And he saw somebody that owed him. Hallelujah. And then owed him as nothing compared to what he owed the king. Mm. And he said, pay the debt that you owe. Mm. And the man went out and said, be merciful to me. And then well, be patient with me. And I'll pay the debt that I owe. He didn't be patient. He grabbed the man by the throat. Hallelujah. So pay the debt that you owe. And in the meanwhile, some people were looking at him. Saying, we can't get away with nothing. Everywhere you go, somebody is looking at you. And they're watching your attitude. Yes. They're watching the way you do things. When you want mercy, they will know that you show mercy to them. Mm. Hallelujah. And they went back and told the king what the servant was doing. And the servant sent his people out and got him, put him in prison, and said, you're going to pay this debt to us. Otherwise, there's something that was in there about the torment. Turn him over to the torments. Mm. Glory to God. See, if he had a show of mercy, the king would have had mercy. But he went out and didn't show no mercy, but he wanted mercy. Mm. A lot of times we get that backwards. We think because it's me, I go to church every Sunday. I drive to Tulsa, Oklahoma every Sunday. And folk ought to show mercy to me because I'm in the church. But if I don't show no mercy, mm. if I don't give no mercy, then God is looking at me. He's looking at me. Somebody said he's looking and he's booking. 
Mm -hmm. They write it down in the book. Hallelujah, that you didn't show no mercy. And he gonna let somebody grab hold to you that you and they ain't gonna give you no mercy. Yeah, that's right. We wonder how do we get in trouble a lot of times. We get in trouble a lot of times, but not walking the word. We talk the word a lot of times, but we don't walk the word. Right. We get away from the word. Mm. We, when we go out of here, we forget about what the word said. Jesus. We want to listen to what the world is saying. <laughs> Not what the word said. Some saints is looking at how the world turns. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I used to work at night, and, and used to be a, uh, uh, used to be a brother come in. He said he was a saved person. I don't know. He wasn't in the same church, so I called him a brother. Mm. Yeah, I watched the world turn. In the days of our life, and my three sons before I came to work. <laughs> I said, Well, I, I went to rubbing my head and scratching. I said, I, 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 I remember that word ton because my daddy used to listen to it. We didn't have TV, he used to hear all the old stories on the radio, and I used to listen to the Days of our lives and all that stuff. And I said, I asked him, I said, man, you know, what, what kind of strength do you get out of that? Do you get anything to help you on this night shift? <laughs> 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 I said, what kind of substance do you get out of it? I, I drink uh, orange juice or something there if I want some. Something or something if I do any walking, I want something to cleanse my get to cleanse me up. I want something to help me. If that ain't gonna help my spirit to go, I ain't gonna really listen to it. Yep, yep, yep. So we way away from home, we out here at night time, get off at twelve o'clock in the night time, and and you talking about you listen to the the world turns and all this and you supposed to be a Christian. Mm. All his talk there all night long. Days of our life. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, man, you ought to look at it. You ought to know I, I'm not going to hear it. I said, those things ain't nothing but the sap to the Christian life out of a person. Yes. I said, you get your eyes fixed on something where well, you've got to keep going back mm. daily. Yeah. And, and that's the way it was. Yeah. They keep you coming back yeah. to see what happened. Yeah. They keep you coming back. Well, I'm gonna see what they gonna do. Uh -huh. And then you ain't getting no, no nope. something from the Lord that cleanse that spiritual man where he can go. Cause all that junk coming in there, sapping it out. Sapping it out. Cause you trying to watch that. I said, how you gonna grow? He didn't understand what I was talking about. Glory to God. But when we get back to mercy here, Marco. when we want mercy. We need to go show some mercy. Mm. Glory to God. We can't give and, and receive mercy unless we give mercy. Right. And I talked about the preacher last Sunday. He said they twins. Mm -hmm. I talked about one of them being on the back of them and they just walking and watching everywhere I go. And if the enemy come in like a flood, then those twins will lift up that standard against them. Otherwise, those twins are just walking back there for nothing. They my protection. They keeping me going. They hold me up. Somewhere I read, he'll pick you up, let you fall. Otherwise, they're not going to let me fall by the wayside if I'm not putting junk inside of me. Yes. See, a lot of times, Christians fall down. Because they're not eating right. Uh -oh. All right. Not eating the right kind of food. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. They're eating junk food. That's right. That's eating cool. worldly food. Mm -hmm. They listen at the devil jokes uh -huh. and stuff. Do you know you cannot hardly find a good, clear news channel anymore? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's pitiful. It's bad. Mm. The world, and I, and I told you, the world is soon to come 
to an end because there's so much going on. This is what God was just showing me last night when I got to work. And soon as I got in my wife said, the pastor said, won't you preach them up? And she left out of her room and I said, God, I'm going to preach. I ain't got no use to that. And then I looked up to, here come Peter Cottontail. <laughs> Hopping down the bunny trail. I said, wait a minute now. And, and there was a, uh, God was showing me right there. Mm -hmm. Look at what they done changed these for two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at how they done did away with everything and, and putting all this stuff in to Easter instead uh -huh. of looking at what Jesus done. Yes. Yes. He didn't have to do it, but he did. He did. Why did he do it? Because he loved us. Yes. Had compassion on us. Yes. He had pity on us. Yes. That's why he did it. Yes. But we were to look at everything and change everything around to, to fit our eyes and to make us feel good. Talking about Peter Cottontail and all this kind of stuff and take, commercializing all these biblical holidays. All right. Taking everything out and putting everything man on in there. Uh, uh, uh. I looked at the clothing. I said, oh my God, look at that. I used to see women clothes change. See the men's skirts come out. The tight pants come out. Now they don't want to mess with the men clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in the right place here? Yes, sir. <laughs> they don't want to mess with the men clothes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I, I turned my TV off and went on the outside. <laughs> I said, is this what the world coming to? And they said, is this the style? Mm. <laughs> oh, have mercy. And this was a preacher I seen some of it on. Mm. <laughs> yes. I said, my God. I said, he's supposed to be preaching the gospel. Uh -huh. And he allowed that kind of stuff. I said, even if it, if it's not the sin of what, I mean, it's the way he appeared. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Gerald Osteen. I was watching him a couple of weeks ago. And he said his wife wanted him to go to the store right quick. See, he was outside doing some work, and he had on some short pants. He jumped in his car, and he went on down to the store right quick. Right quick. And if, when he got out the car, he looked down at himself. Uh-oh. He said, no, this ain't right. Mm -hmm. He said, I represent God. Yes. I can't go in the store looking like this with short pants on. Mm -hmm. People might know when you ain't doing no wrong. He said, but I represent God. All right. When we come to the realizing, when we acknowledge who we represent, we won't go and buy these things off of the ship. We pass up that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we represent God, and I'm looking like a holly. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, no. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. oh, I yeah. got to look like who I think God will look like. Mm -hmm. I might not have the best, but I wanted to be the respectable. I want Represent. people to respect me. Yes. Who I say I am. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Let's go to one more right quick. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Matthew. Thank you. 18. Chapter. We're going to read a few verses out of Matthew, the 18th chapter. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We see Jesus, he didn't have to do it, but he did. Somebody said he didn't have to do it, but he did. He, did it, he woke me up this morning. Yes. He started me on my way. Yes. Said it again, he didn't have to do it, yes. but he did. Yes. So when we represent Jesus, we got to go in a respectable way. We got to earn respect if we want to get respect. If we want to give respect, we want to give respect if we want to earn respect. However, you put that together when you get home. I'm just saying it. It's just coming out of my mouth. If you want to respect, show it. That's right. 
Huh? Amen. I'm respect me. I'm a preacher. Look at me, y'all. I'm a preacher. Hmm. What are you preaching? I read Bible, sit out of prayer. <laughs> What's your preach about? Respect, <laughs> mercy, grace. Sir, could you help me? I need a loaf of bread. Get on away from here. Mm. <laughs> I ain't got time. Mm. You're at the wrong house. Mm. Go down the street. See, a lot of people have been sent over here instead of their own church mm. for help. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go down there and read Bible in the house of prayer. Mother Tucker do that. Mm -hmm. I had something to tell me. When we was on Unico, the church down the street told us to come down here. Said Mother Tucker do that. They didn't do that. Wow. I said, wait, well, come on. I, I took them to Brother Miller. Mm -hmm. I said, he handled all that. I don't handle that. Brother Miller was alive. Uh -huh. He handled that kind of stuff. When you go talk to him, he can help you. See, when we want respect, Mm -hmm. We need to do and, and show respect to people. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Matthew, what I say, Matthew 18? 18. 18. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get that. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 18. Mm. Can't read my writing here. <laughs> Matthew 18, 23. Jesus said in the right, if you got the right kind of back, mother, I, I, I like to remember what mother used to say, if you got the right kind of back, <laughs> it's in your back. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Some <coughs> folks, they, they can't find it in harmony. Wow. See, that's to use that phrase a lot. There's some folks buy a different kind of Bible because they get away from the truth. Mm. Don't want to hear the truth. Mm. I heard the truth will make you free. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Yeah. All right, we are in Matthew 20, 18, 23. Therefore, mm -hmm. Brother Cal said, when you see the word therefore, <laughs> find out what it's there for. <laughs> <laughs> therefore. All right. The, therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king which took counsel of his servants. This is where I was at a while ago. We go and then read it. And when he had begun him, which owed him 10,000 talents. But for as much as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold to and his wife and children mm. and all that he had and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshiped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of the servants was moved with compassion and loose him and forgave him the debt. But the servant went out and found one of his fellow servants which owed him an hundred pence, and he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me the debt thou owe. Mm. Otherwise, he ain't got no mercy now. But he wanted the Lord to show him mercy. Mm. Now, here's somebody that don't owe him much. In. Otherwise, it's a two dollar less than a roundabout figure. I put two dollars in there. Mm -hmm. uh, compared to what he owed. Uh -huh. And he took the man by his throat to pay the debt that you owe. I ain't got no patience with you. I ain't got no compassion on you or you. I ain't going to pity you. No 
mercy at all mm. to be seen by him. But in the meanwhile, he was seeing somebody was looking. Mm. Don't fool yourself, somebody looking at us. Yes. When we go out of here today, somebody is watching you. Mm -hmm. might, might be at home when they're looking behind <coughs> curtains and seeing you come in. How you acting, how you come out of your car, what you take out of your car. You know, a few years ago, in the state of Oklahoma, in Coeta, I know, they didn't put liquor in the grocery store. Hmm. Where the people can buy the See, see how this thing changing around? Mm -hmm. You used to close the liquor store on a Sunday, and, and, and where you couldn't get it. But now they put it out there where you can get it. They put it out it, it, You rich and get it, man. It, we, we want to sell this stuff. We were in Branson, uh, I don't know, about 10 years ago, and I seen liquor in a, in a Walmart. I said, didn't you tell me Walmart sell liquor? Mm. Yeah. That was in Branson. Mm. But now Tulsa, Walmart got liquor. Mm. Everywhere you go got liquor. Mm. Why? Because the devil is busy. Mm. He want to get his program over, and we're buying it. No, it ain't in that. that the sinners ain't the only one supporting that. People of God is supporting that. They're buying it. And some folk are hiding. I've seen folk that put it under their <laughs> coat and get in their car. Come up in Korea, up there in the corner. What's the name of the store? Country Mark. You know, Country Mark up there. I seen a man doing that the other day. He done paid for the stuff <laughs> and put it on the coat. They get in the car. <laughs> I said, What is this world coming to? And I kind of figured, I just sat there in my car and I said, I said, He got to be blown to some church close around here. <laughs> he got to blown to the church close around here. He done paid for it in the store. <laughs> I seen him pay for it. <laughs> and when he got to the door, he ever promised, he put it under there in this hot. It, it wasn't cold. We can have some nice weather. <laughs> <laughs> and he put it on the, the coat that he and walked in. He didn't have a few steps to get in his car. Mm -hmm. And I think, I didn't watch it. Doing this kind of stuff like he's stealing. <laughs> I mean, I've seen him because I was in there. He paid for it. <laughs> I said, mm. right then. I said, he got a broom to a church around here. <laughs> close. And he doing this so the folk won't see him. Mm, mm, mm. I remember hearing a sermon about woman by the wrong fire. There was a preacher and a deacon. Some churches don't pay that no mind. They drink just like it's nothing. But they they know people talked about them drinking and they pulled up to the liquor store. They wanted something to drink. And the preacher ran in there while the deacon was still on the stern wheel. And when he ran into the liquor store to get what he wanted, the Castile said, What you drinking today, Rev? <laughs> Trying to hide from somebody. And God is looking at you. And not only God, but people are looking at you. So it's best to be what you want. It's best to be what you want. Don't try to hide nothing. You can knock on my door. I'm not going to run and try to hide nothing because there ain't nothing in there to be hid. Hallelujah. That's the kind of lifestyle I live. I don't have to do this anymore because God delivered me from the smoke. If you still smoke, I'll pray for you. 
God delivered me. I don't have to go by a liquor store and do this. I used to, when I was working years ago, look like I, I got to have more cigarettes because in the machine there, they cost more. Mm -hmm. I might as well buy them at this yes, service station cheap. But when God delivered me, I can go by there just that ain't nothing happened. Because I don't, I'm not entangled with that yoke anymore. God done freed me from that yoke of bondage. So I can keep on going. When God frees you from something, then you can go by a place and it don't draw you back no more. I used to, when I pass by something look like I, I be can't hardly guess to be pumping on the gas and it looks like it's just slowing down and like I'm hitting the brake. Car looks like it's stalled. Mm. But now it don't hinder me no more. Mm. Because I'm free. Hallelujah. I'm delivered <laughs> from the book of bondage. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. So I can show mercy mm. because I've been living. Hallelujah. When Jesus came down from that cross, he showed mercy. And otherwise, they go up there and he come down off of that. Otherwise, he come up out of that grave, mm -hmm. laid aside his royal diadems, mm. got up out of that dusty grave, yes. went back, hallelujah, to Jerusalem, and people seen him. And they talk with him. You remember when the two men were on the way to the mouth and they talked with Jesus and they were so upset and Jesus made out like he wanted to go a little bit further but he stayed with them a while and when they began to break bread and Jesus disappeared and they said, did not heart burn while he spake with us. Jesus, when he began to speak, they remember Jesus. That he said he's going to get up the third day. Glory to God. He got up out of that dust of grave. Somebody said he rolled that stone away. My God, why did he do it? He did it for you and I. So that we may have a right to the tree of life. Glory to God. And he showed mercy. That's why he wanted to show mercy to other folk. Glory to God. If you pass by somebody today in distress or stranded, stop. Don't get in such a big hurry. Like you've got to get home. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me sit down a little bit. Because I can remember when we first come into this ministry. Glory to God. And we went at 9 o'clock. Glory to God. We sat at the 3 o'clock. <laughs> Glory to God. And I begin to wonder when the service is going to be out. Glory to God. I wasn't used to that kind of piano. I said I wasn't used to that kind of piano. 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock. And the service was still going on. My God. It looked like it was nowhere near a turning out. I begin to wonder. I look at my watch. I said, I gotta go home. I'm hungry. Mother, please hurry up and get through. Glory to God. And she keep right on talking. My God. And Pastor Regina. Glory to God. Glory to God. She looked like she used to tie my wife up when we get ready to go. She'd be talking to her. I've been saying, let's go. It's time for us to go. You remember I used to tell you that it's a good time for us to go. We've been here a long time. My God. But listen, after all in all, I summed it all up. And thank God that I stayed there. I said, thank God that the word starts to save me here. I begin to hear some things that I thought it was already up above. Yeah. I begin to let it sink in. <laughs> oh, 
said, no, you ain't. I said, yes, Lord, I am. No, you ain't. Sit down. I begin, my wife said something about getting up. She was in, this morning she was talking about in Sunday school. Look like the Spirit of the Lord grab hold to you. And you try to get up off of your seat and look like something holding you down. Glory to God. The presence of the Lord was there. Yeah. And I began to want to get up and go home. And look like I couldn't get up. Look like and wasn't nobody holding me. The Spirit of the Lord was holding me. Yes. And didn't want to release me to get up and go home. And I asked God one day, Lord, you know I got to work. And I worked that night. Therefore, Sunday night was my first day of the week. Mm. Glory to God. And I, getting out at 3 30 and 4 o'clock. <laughs> I got to go home and eat. <laughs> got to be at work at 11. I ain't going to get no sleep. I, I ain't going to get no sleep. I'm hungry. And, and, but listen, saints, after all, we get out at 3 o'clock, sometimes 3 30, 4 o'clock. Get home, the answer machine will be blanking. Just blanking. Turn the answer machine, come to the hospital. Sister so and so was sick, and we didn't have time to eat. And then I got to be at work at 11 o'clock. But in the meanwhile, all this turning, God was. Turning and cleaning me out. Hallelujah. Cleaning me out. I wasn't getting no sleep. I wasn't putting nothing in there. But God was cleaning me out. Yes. So that I could show mercy. Yes. So that I could keep going. Yes. Glory to God. Sometimes I pick up that phone and want to tell folks, listen, I got to go to work. But I wouldn't tell them. My God. Because God wanted me to show mercy. Mm -hmm. And if you want to show mercy, then you were ready to receive mercy. Yeah. We go down on our knees. Lord, have mercy mm. on me. Yes, the book of Psalms is full of mercy. Mm -hmm. We read that. Oh, How the psalmist was said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy endured forever. Yes. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his mercy endured forever. Now, we got to be like God. Our mercy shouldn't run out. Mm. It looks like our mercy runs out. Mm. As soon as we go out of the church, mm. our mercy seems like stays in. <laughs> well, it used to be people called on you to say something. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. It looks like when you get up, your thoughts still sit down. Mm. I'm ready. I can do it. You jump up and then your thoughts are still there. And like, I don't remember what I wanted to say. Mm. Our mercy sometimes runs out like that. We just got through getting somebody laying hands on us, washing us and baptizing us in this oil. Go right out of here in the parking lot. Don't get too close to me. Mm. You better get back. No, you don't know me like that. <laughs> Our mercy stays in yeah. when we out there. Mm. This is what I'm trying to show you. Yeah. Yeah. God wants us to demonstrate mercy. Yeah. Because he did. Yeah. And he didn't have to do it. Mm. But he did. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I said he did. Yes, he did. We want to be like Jesus. We sing that song. To be like Jesus. Mm. Oh, to be like Jesus. Oh, I want to be like him. Mm. But then we don't want to live the word. We talk the word, but we don't want to do the word. Mm. I thank God that we ought to let our talk master our walk. Mm. We talk things, but we need to demonstrate things. People, God wants demonstrators, not talkers. A whole lot of folk got that demonstration, but they ain't living. We need to demonstrate what we're talking about in our soul, in our mind. 
remember the word. If we got these things in the word of God, then demonstrate them. And someone said, surely, surely, goodness and mercy share. And this, this, every, this, this based on the word share, that's a promise from God. God's going to back his word up. Yes, thank you, Lord. His word says, shall he going to see that it happen? Yeah. But you got to do what his word said in order for it to happen. Yeah. If you do the word, then these things will happen. Yeah. Mercy, goodness and mercy will follow you yeah. all the days of your life according to your walk with God. Thank you. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm frozen. Anybody for prayer this morning? Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody need prayer? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you. Hallelujah. Don't get mad at me now, because I'm finna to say something. I want you to demonstrate something. When the altar's open, when the altar is open, saints of God, when the word needing prayer, don't sit out there and know if you need prayer. God wants you to get up like you want something from Him, and He'll demonstrate that you are eligible to receive something from Him. But if you sit down and hold back and thinking that because you held back and God going to work, listen. Sometimes God works because of you. Yes. I was in one of Brother Shambach's meeting. And, and I was talking to a brother in there, and he was praying for folks. I said, man, I talked to you some other time. I need something from God. And before I got to the man, I received what I had wanted from God because I was in the floor. They had to pick me up. I was, I don't know if you the know, sister Diane back there in the prayer line. But my heart was fixed. And my mind was made up. Mm. Brother Shambach didn't have to beg me to come to the prayer. He just opened it. Sometimes we want God to pry us, beg us, plead with us. Go on and get the prayer. No, listen, God, he don't need you. You need him. Amen. Huh? Amen. Am I talking right? Amen. You need him. We need him. God can do anything. He used the mule. He used the rooster. If he wants something, he can make it or use something else. So the prayer line is open. I mean, the prayer altar is open. Yes. Mother used to say, don't come up like drops of rain. You want to preach out and you want the audience out. Because the preacher could be sitting down and uh, could be getting ready to do something else. Then here you come. It's when open time, get up. If you need something, go for it. Yes. If you don't need nothing, pray for those that do. Yes. Am I talking? I ain't. I don't want Hallelujah. nobody to be with me. But this needs to be said. Yes. Because God can work in confusion. Mm -hmm. yes. Confusing is when the prayer line is open, then they get through praying, then here you come. That's confusing. I thought you got through praying. No, get up then and go up there. Amen. And then the Lord will bless you for your coming. I'm going to ask you what you need. God knows what you need. And when you get that right with Him, He'll open the window yeah. for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
of grace and mercy has brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you.
For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. And the glory. Well, Amen. 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 Amen.
baptism next Sunday. Anybody that wants to be baptized, need, need to be baptized, realize you need to go under. It's a part of the, it's a part of the process of our salvation. Amen. Amen. Go in the water, confess boldly, making an open confession of our faith in Christ. Yeah. So we're having a baptism next Sunday. Amen.